Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome, Cross Watchers. Let's take a look and see what's manifesting for you in June. Any messages, advice, everything you need to know. All right, we'll take a look and see what's showing up around you as well. So this could be someone on your mind and how it may be possibly affecting your energy. All right. Don't forget to practice using your discernment. Take what resonates, leave out the rest, and like, comment, subscribe. Share the video if you feel like it relates to anyone you know. And don't forget to follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with the link to my website, spirituallyglowy.com, for you to view all of the different options for readings. Huh. Guilty. Some of you, I see you feeling guilty about something. Some of you may be carrying a guilt wound. It may not be necessarily that you did something wrong, but it, I mean, you could just be feeling guilty for, it's like the wounded part of you that feels guilty for something. All right. It feels like, huh. Some of you are feeling guilty for leaving something behind or leaving someone behind here. It's interesting how I'm seeing this because um, he's running away from like a home. I'm seeing a home here. So some of you may be um, having a change of location, a, ch a change of environment, change of home. You could be leaving a situation that at one point offered you a lot of stability, um, a person. And yeah, I see you. I see you in a way feeling like guilt from this, but things are changing or this is this, it, this was going to happen one way or another. Okay. Because you are in the process of change. Your it's like your soul is ready for some sort of new path here. All right, I'm seeing new opportunities, new financial opportunities that are going to help you achieve long-term success. Eight of Pentacles. I see you really working and hustling away, um, really focused on like proving to yourself that you can create the life that you desire. You can create a secure and stable future for yourself. You can... Um, create the resources that you need. It's like you're really focused. Yeah, it's like you got something to prove here. And I feel like this is you trying to prove to yourself that you made the right decision or that you are making right decisions by um, transitioning from one place to another. Okay. There's some sort of communication coming in. There's a message from the heart. Tell me about this communication coming in. Okay, something about your health, communication coming in when it comes to health, when it comes to making um, that, that in, in the end, I see you uh, taking some sort of this advice and making some sort of changes within your own body, within your own mind. Okay, I feel like you're ready for a level up. Okay, you're ready for a level up and this isn't something that you need to feel guilty about. We all change. Things are not meant to stay the same. And we're not meant to stay the same. We're ever growing. Okay. Okay. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad about these opportunities in front of you. Okay. You got opportunities. And I see you have something solid. It's like you're ready to explore something new. You're ready to invest into different seeds, different offers to see um, what ends up growing. 
for some reason I'm hearing growing through the mud. Growing through the mud. I don't know what that's about, but um yeah, you may feel like you're in a sticky situation, but you're growing through it, and that's the best that you can do. You have, I, um, I'm saying 7-7, seven, seven, and it feels like you are contemplating on making a choice here. Contemplating on committing to something fully, wholeheartedly, and doing what's best for you. It feels like you're doing what's best for you, and um, it's like that wounded part feels guilty for, for doing that, or the wounded part feels like you're doing something that's selfish, but you're doing what's best for you. Sometimes, sometimes you got to be a little bit selfish, okay? Especially when you are trying to get away from an icky situation, okay? Um, I feel like there's um, someone around you who is, I'm seeing like a really rebellious type of energy coming from this person, like... They're someone who likes to make bad decisions, okay? They like to make bad decisions, and you're like, yeah, I cannot be here. I cannot. Mm. Okay. Something's coming to an end here. Something's coming to an end. I feel like you're giving someone a wake-up call that they uh, very much needed, okay? So... I do see someone making some sort of plan towards you. It does look at it does look like in, in the month of June they're kind of like waiting for something, looking out into the future with you, um, waiting for actions, waiting for communications. What is this person waiting for? What are they waiting for? A decision, two of swords, two of pentacles. Okay, a decision on if this is going to work out, if this is going to be something that can, um, that's something that can be balanced, something that is also going to be a priority. Okay, I feel like someone's kind of waiting for you to make a decision here. If you have someone in mind, Scorpio, think of them. And let's take a look and see how they feel about you in the month of June. The situation with you. The person on your mind. Mm. Ooh, Empress energy at the bottom. So overall, it feels like someone is... increasingly developing stronger emotions about a relationship, stronger emotions about establishing um, something serious here. And the Empress is the mother of the deck. She is um, the wife of the deck. And I feel like Someone here is wanting this to move in a direction where things are getting more serious, where things, um, where the situation can be nurtured towards a celebration, a big party, four of wands, a get together, home, okay? Someone's wanting to talk about um, a home together, gathering under a home, under the same environment, and we got the three of wands and the four of wands so yeah someone's waiting for like that next step in the month of june the actions look like they're kind of um showing up in in a way that is establishing something more serious between the both of you something more passionate okay it they're looking at you like you're slowing down or there's like a there's a block when it comes to your actions here like you're not wanting to run quickly towards something okay you're not wanting to speed up when it comes to certain actions here or there could just be a, a delay 
that they don't know about. Okay, kind of shows me that this person, they feel like there's an, a level of like uncertainty. Like they don't know. your where your mind's at or they don't know where where things are headed high priestess reverse feels like that that energy of like not knowing enough information not having enough information here and with this king of swords it kind of looks like they they want to talk about some serious things they want they want information from you they want to have a serious, a really serious and like practical conversation about the future. Like, what are we or where is this going? Are we going to um, move towards this, travel towards this? There's an energy of travel, someone wanting to travel or go somewhere and, and feeling like they don't have all the answers, but they're coming in with communication. Now... I'm picking up that in the month of June, you're putting yourself first, you're putting your career first, you're putting uh, your finances and your hobbies first. Okay, there's a big, there's a big focus on mastering the material realm, the material life self-mastery creating enough resources in your life really focus tunnel vision on on something here and it does look like a part of you is feeling bad about it okay this person or the situations around you they can wait they will wait but these new opportunities here, we don't know how long they're going to be there for, okay? So I feel like, yeah, this month you really just got to put yourself first and don't feel bad about it. I know it's, it could be easier said than done, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and do it without the guilt. Do it without the guilt. Focus on yourself without the guilt. Focus on your hobbies without the guilt. Focus on rest without the guilt, okay? Everything else can wait, and they it, they will wait, okay? So, let's see. Is there anything else that you need to know? Is there anything else Scorpio needs to know in the month of June? Okay, have faith. Have faith. Let it impress you. Enjoy the journey. Okay. Uh, this is a time of solitude. This is a time of reflection. It's kind of like moving into the winter months, even though we're in June. It's that time of um, self-reflection. Self-reflection. And doing the work that you need to do silently and it's like one of those things where you disappear for a month but when you come back you come back 10 times better when you come back you have more to offer because you poured into yourself in that month so think about it like that you're you're on the road towards self-mastery and you don't have to feel bad about it i think i said that like ten thousand times but i hope i'm getting my point across I'm saying the numbers 8, 3, 7, 5, 9. Those numbers, they could be birthdays, synchronicities, special days. I'm saying letters W, L, R, B, H, M. Those letters, they could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and your patience. And I hope you have a blessed rest of your day, Scorpio. Bye.